Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for tuning in again. Um, in this video I want to show you the uh, QNAP TVS471. Um, the reason why is because I'm replacing my old TS269 Pro. And why you ask? Because I can't play 4K videos anymore with that device. Not anymore. I, the, the device doesn't support, um, support it. This one does. So if I slide this aside, you can see on the box that the 4K Ultra HD logo is here. That's why. So um, I already unboxed it. As you can see, it, the device comes in this very nice colored white blue bluish box. And inside is, of course, the device itself, as you can see. A power connector and a small box uh, which includes let's just see the manual of course it's a very small one you get some screws for the discs you get the keys to lock the lock the hard disk in place and you get four network cables black ones I think they're only a meter long and Fun is these Emilex. This device also supports 10 gigabytes interface. So if you buy an Emilex card, uh, probably as a full height, you can mount this one on, on the uh, card and it will convert it to a low profile that will fit in the uh, pinup. So that's fun. So 10 gigabytes support. My network here is only one gigabyte. We'll have to invest in other technologies. Okay, so for the design itself, as you can see, it's still the same like many models before. Um, the color is a bit more grayish because of black and, and not black, the front. But for the rest, it's still black. It has an, uh, still the same sliders for the hard disks which support, of course, three and a half inch disks and two and a half inch disks. As you can see here on the top, I don't know if you can see it here. Trust me, it's there. They have put some extra mounting holes, I think, here in the middle. Um, because my other model, my previous one, only had four, um, I thought. I'm not sure I have to check and in, anyway um, I bought myself a Seagate Iron Wolf and I only could mount these two screws here on the top and on the bottom that didn't match on uh, this disc so keep in mind look for the uh, supported hardware models which it was supported but yeah okay it's an old model so I'm not gonna nag about it so it slides back in like usual and it clicks in place. On the top you can still have the LCD display with some information, IP address, model and such, firmware level. Um, and obviously the power button on the front and the copy button with the USB. Okay, so in the back, as you can see, of course your power connector, it has a very big fan, so it's low noise. And it supports 4 gigabytes for 1 gigabytes interface networks. So you can separately connect them or bundle them, bound them. Uh, it's up to you. Of course, you have your USB ports and your HDMI connection. Like I said here, it supports two slots which will provide the 10 gigabytes uh, interface. Look for the uh, hardware compatibility list also, which network cards are supported inside. Um, Emulex is supported. I don't know if others in Intel, of probably, and some others. Okay, this model is the, like I said, the TVS471. This one comes with an i3 processor. Uh, it's a 4150 3.5 GHz processor. So it's pretty um, good for storage, I think, to play your movies. 
Uh, this model comes with uh, 4 gigabytes of memory, which has now installed 2 times 2 gigabytes of memory. It only has two slots, so if you want to expand to, let's say, it's maximum expandable up to 16 gigabytes, you'll have to remove those two gigabytes because it only has two slots and place two 8 gigabytes in place in. So keep in mind to remove them. Flash memory is on all the models of this type 512, I think. Could be wrong. Uh, on higher models or bigger models could be more. Uh, like I said, it supports, yeah, it's a 471, so you get four drives. That's logical. You can choose to put in three and a half disks, two and a half disks, uh, each six or three gigabytes uh, per second. Uh, okay, what else? Uh, let's see. Standard, okay, it's four gigabytes uh, of Ethernet ports. Uh, four one gigabyte uh, expandable up to eight times one gigabyte LAN, four times ten gigabyte LANs, or plus four gigabytes one gigabyte LANs. So you can choose eight one gigabytes or four ten gigabytes. Um, yeah, you have to put in dual port in the gigabytes to get the four ports on on the back. Yeah, okay. So, uh, USB is supported, 3.0, three ports, on the, two on the back, one in the front, I think. Yeah, correct, that's a 3.0. And the two on the back are the black ones, 2.0. Uh, like I said, one uh, HDMI, the power button, just getting the specs here from the side. There is another model, yeah, correct. I have the i3, but if you want to go cheaper, there is a dual core Intel G3250 3.2 GHz processor. I think it's a little bit cheaper. Um, I have no, I didn't look up the price. Depending on country, it's different anyway. So, uh, okay, sound pressure. Sound level, sorry, sound pressure describes here. It's uh, 17.3 decibels. So it's pretty quiet, which is important to me because it's next to my TV. Uh, so it won't interfere. Yeah, okay, it will interfere a bit. It's not that quiet. As there is a model from QNAP, you can get a uh, uh, static one without cooling for the TV. It operates in 0 to 40 degrees in temperature. Um, so one quiet cooling fan. It's a 12 centimeter cooling fan at the back. And PCI slots are two. Let's see. Uh, let's see. It has one PCIe generation 3 slot, 8 speed. And one uh, PCIe generation 2 slot, 4 speed. So keep in mind, um, if you buy the 10 gigabytes uh, interface network cards, network cards that you uh, keep in mind for these generations. That's it. Um, okay, if you like the video again, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I will try to answer them and look it up if you want. Um, yeah, and thank you for watching again.